our second announcement for the night is we actually have an interesting sponsor for the night. Uh, I don't know how or why, but guys, our game is completely sponsored by the city of Alkenstar itself. That uh, really doesn't make any sense. Yeah, like, how can a fictional city sponsor our show? No clue, but they actually did send us a recording to share with our audience. Uh, it's like a tape, like a VHS tape, and it just says Alkenstar Travel Bureau in Sharpie on the side of it. It's weird. So, 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 so um, actually, I, I feel like Alkenstar would have some sort of tech other than, like, VHS tapes, right? Like, you, you sure about this? Laser disc. <laughs> well, I'm not, but you know what? We sure are about to find out. Let's take a look at what the Alkenstar Travel Bureau has actually sent us. Let me let me find a way to roll the tape. All right, roll the tape. Okay. So, uh, where where do I look again? Here. What a strange contraption. So so I just talk like this is a person. All right. Howdy. Welcome to Alkenstar. My name is High Chamberlain Lael Brennan, welcoming you on behalf of the city of Alkenstar and our travel bureau. We are sometimes called the Clockwork City on account of all our amazing inventions that were birthed right here in Alkenstar. We wanted to create this video to invite you to consider us for your next vacation spot. Now, now we realize not much is known about us outside of our region and a lot of what you might have heard ain't exactly the truth. So sit back, relax, and let us convince you to come and visit the city of tomorrow. Now let's start with a special message from one of our most esteemed businessmen and local legend, Ambrose Mugland. Right, well, uh, you know, if you're not doing anything later, I know a place we can get drinks. Uh. Ah, right. Hi. I'm Ambrose Mugland, the owner and operator of the various completely legal businesses here in Alkenstar. Many of our visitors long to stay in authentic, 100% licensed taverns within the city. If you're looking for something a bit less rowdy, feel free to check out my line of Alkenstar bed and breakfasts, or AB&B for short. Just take a look at one of our rental units here, just outside the city walls. Plenty of quiet bedrooms for you and the little ones to recuse yourself after a day of sightseeing. Our low floors and mud bricks help insulate you against both the intense heat of the desert and the unpredictability of the mana storms. Combined with our open floor pans and private kitchen, you'll barely notice the scorching temperatures outside, making you feel right at home again. But remember, you are responsible for cooking, cleaning, and taking all your garbage back into the city, as well as defending the home from all mutant invasions. You simply tack on a small, small five gold a day convenience fee for the troubles. I promise you, you'll not regret staying with us, and that's the Mugland guarantee. Thank you. Thank you for that completely above board and legal option for our traveling friends, Mr. Mugland. <laughs> Earned completely on merit, as a matter of fact. Uh, up next, we have a very important message from one of our most respected members of law enforcement, the always trustworthy Shield Marshal Angelique Loveless. Why, hello. Shield Marshal Angelique Loveless here. To remind you, only to exchange your money at the authorized Alkenstar government banks. There is a rise in the sale of counterfeit coins to tourists right now. And if you visit the wrong establishment, you may find yourself in my crosshairs, which is a place you do not want to be. Please look at this diagram and familiarize yourself with its contents. Here in Alkenstar, we call gold coins luckies. It is stamped with not only our seal, but also a unique serial number. Many counterfeit coins will have to, will only have a single serial number shared across all of them, or have the numbers 
hand carved instead of pressed. While many are superstitious about these numbers, remember one important rule. If I catch you in possession of a stolen or fake coin, you will spend the rest of your days working in a chain gang at the gunworks. Whoa, 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 love list does not in fact, uh, does not in fact speak for the entirety of the city. And we gently remind you that the accidental possession of counterfeit coins does not automatically sentence you to a chain gang. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why don't we move on to more fun ways to protect yourself in style with the fashion king himself, Lord Glass. Horse noises. That time that was shit me rolling. Hi there! I'm Lord Glass, my old scrap soul, leader of the now gobblers, and honorary judge of this year's Alcan Star Fashion Extravaganza. <clears throat> As a warning, when you're visiting Alcan Star, wearing out of town fashion is like punting target on your back. It shows weakness. Don't be weak. When you're here, dress the part. Looking tough is half the point here in Alkenstar. Make sure you take direction from our tough desert desperados. Studs, plates, and patches made from leather around give you the you know, outfit, the, the rough edges it needs to make somebody think twice before, you know, they're gonna come up and they're gonna do the stab and gonna take them better run. You know how it is, Longshot. A pair of tinted spectacles, they also are. Uh, Makes you look like a towering outlaw, and plus it uh, helps dim the glowing sun through our smoggy skies. And, and, and don't, don't forget the rowdy accents. Chains, studs, and holsters to beat the ensemble and make for fancy videos to share with your loved ones back home. But, but remember, here, leather is the name of the time. Everyone looks tougher in leather outfits. This has been more grass <clears throat> building you to uh, stop by Scrap City in uh, the newly refurbished store downside district. Ah, uh, yes. The recent renovations of Old Ironside are coming along nicely. And we anticipate opening a brand new theme park there for the kids sometime around the summer of 4720. But. Not all fun is family fun. Sometimes you're looking for something a little more edgy. Why don't you listen to esteemed tavern proprietor Phoebe Dunsmith as she explains a bit more about the dangerous side of the city. Phoebe Dunsmith here. Owner and operator of the Barrel and Bullet Saloon in Elkinstar. One of our favorite pastimes here in the city is gambling. Whether it's a dice game like a bounder, a card game like triples, or a good old fashioned shooting competition like I won my saloon in, chances are high you're going to want to compete while you're in town. I wanted to take a minute to make sure you understand the rules of a card game gaining popularity in my place. Golem. While variants exist everywhere, here in Elkenstar, the rules are simple. The game plays much like standard five-card draw poker. One player is the dealer, and the player to their right has the amulet. Once all players ante up, betting starts with whomever has the amulet with a chance to bet, raise, or fold. All players then have a chance to replace up to two cards they want from their hands. These cards go into a pile we call the golem. Then we have another round of betting. If at the end, the second round of betting, there are at least two players left, the dealer then frees the golem. This is not as dirty as it sounds. They take all the discarded cards from all the players and make the best fave card hand possible. If the winner does not beat the golem hand, well, the money stays in the pot. The player must pay double the ante into the pot, and all the players who have not yet folded go on their hand. As you can imagine, this creates high stakes moments. You live stories in a fun new game to take back with you after your vacation. 
and make sure to stop by the Barrel and Bullet Saloon here in the Ferris Quarter of Elk and Star for a safe place to stay. Try our house drink, the Flaming Whiskey, while you're here, and I'll promise to lend you my ear and listen to all the exciting things you've seen while you're on your trip. You'll have my undivided attention. Ha! Thanks, Phoebe. The last bit was not ominous and foreboding at all. Nope. There's so much more that Alkenstar has to offer to travelers. From sightseeing at Alkan Falls, our state-of-the-art hydro plant and gift shop, or even a ride on an airship across the desert, or a river cruise up the Ustradi River. We are the number one destination for your vacation here in the Impossible Lands. So, don't listen to the rumors. Our sky is always visible from certain areas in Skyside at all times. Mutant raids rarely get past our outer defenses to even threaten your fun. And the chances of actually being mugged is down nearly 20% to about a 50-50 chance from this time last year. Next time you have a choice in travel, choose the City of Tomorrow. Uh, are, is anyone actually going to ever watch this thing? <laughs> Alright, everyone. <laughs> thank you, thank you for that. Uh, big thank you to Paizo for this preview of the Lost Omens hey. travel guide. An awesome lore book and the latest in the Lost Omens line. It contains a ton of lore about the inner sea stretching across most of the published regions that have been covered in all their adventure paths so far. Um, if you're making your own adventures, your own content, if you need adventures for your adventure path to sort of breathe a little more life into your games, or if you just want some good ideas to lift for an adventure that you're going to write yourself, definitely go pick this up. It is scheduled. I think the, the book is scheduled to launch like wide release in September with the PDF. I think it comes out August 31st, so at the end of this month, it should be available to everyone for purchase. Definitely worth picking up, taking a read through, uh, and thank you guys for playing along with my silly antics and, and ad reads. Uh, you guys give me too much power, because whatever I write down, you say. I mean, what was silly about that? That was entirely fucking silly. That's not oh, but I Steve. I heard into that. You forget whatever accent we do, you have to do for those NPCs yeah. now. Yeah! Tighten up those throat muscles. <laughs> We're in trouble. Hey, this is Steve from Recall Knowledge. I hope you enjoyed our Lost Omen Travel Guide first look. Big shout out to Paizo for making this possible and giving us an early preview copy. But none of this would be possible without the support of our patrons, so I'd like to take a minute and thank all of our patrons who are supporting us as of the recording of this video. So big shout out, thank you David Sims, Jason Irvin, Mikkel Waltz, Mark Paquette, Sandra Wagner, Derek Southworth. You guys are awesome and amazing. Um, if you've enjoyed our content, make sure to check out some of the other uh, playlists we have. Uh, you can head over to youtube.com slash recall knowledge or twitch.tv slash recall knowledge. We have a full playthrough of Abomination Vaults that aired last year. We're currently playing through Outlaws of Alkenstar, as you saw with our Outlaws of Alkenstar preview video. And we're starting a brand new homebrew campaign called Bastion that's going to be airing this week for the first time. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to our channel, help feed that YouTube algorithm down below. And we'll catch you guys on the dusty trail.